Hi, everyone. I'm Courtney, the, the financial officer of the company. I am Molly. I'm the cost accountant. My name is Nate Jansen. I am head of the marketing department. And my name is Reed Overweg. I am the head of human resources. Okay, so today we'll talk about the company history of Midwest Airlines and just what decisions we made in the past 12 quarters. So first of all, we'll talk about the fares, the marketing aspect, the fleet, the scheduling, human resource and financing, and any special um, decisions we made and strategy, the strategy we chose um, to implement during the, the quarters. So first of all, we'll talk about the fares. Um, our company decided to be in the normal market with our fare per mile being 36 cents and our cabin food service being at level one, meaning free, free soft drinks and snacks. Later in the simulation, we chose to charge a service fee of $25 per passenger for check baggage and a $10 fee for advanced fee selection. During the seventh quarter, we decided to decrease our fare per mile to 35 cents to move away from our competitors in the normal market and increase our load factor. As you can see, our direct competitors were Venture Airlines, who had a fare per mile of 38 cents, as well as Gray Cloud9 Airlines, who also had a fare per mile of 38 cents at the end of the 12th quarter. Some of our, our indirect competitors were Alpha Paradise, who had a fare per mile of 40 cents, and K, who had also a fare per mile of 35 cents as us. For marketing, we, we decided to um, choose an approach where we would spend 100,000 on advertising during the first quarter and 50,000 on promotion and allocate a $10,000 budget on the cargo. We chose to allocate more on advertising in the first quarter since we were a fairly new company and we just wanted to have more clients. Our company then decided to hire only one salesperson in the beginning and have flights in region one, two, and five. Later in the simulation, we decided to reduce our advertising budget, increase our cargo budget and hire more salesperson and also split our marketing effort between the four, the three regions equally. Then during the seventh quarter, we decided to allocate more budget to promotion than advertising and the strategy to increase our sales and get more clients to choose our airlines compared to our competitors. We also decided to increase our cargo budget to $200,000 increase our salesperson to five to be able to sell more tickets and also increase our advertising. As for the fleet, our company first started with 12 aircrafts of TP340. Since they work well for normal flights and they are medium sized flights with 34 seats. They have a high fuel efficiency, require low maintenance and have a cheaper lease cost. We also want to lease the same kind of flight for each region to be able to keep our inventory of spare parts and not invest too much on it. Um, we found it more convenient to keep our maintenance level to level two and have a 50-50 um, fuel contract to stay on the safe side in case fuel prices were to unexpectedly increase in the future. So for scheduling, we were able to have 2,000 2, daily miles per aircraft. So we also then decided that if a competitor was flying in the same route, that it would be better sometimes to focus our efforts other places. And you only needed three flights daily per route to grow the market. And then after three, you were starting to hit the decline stage of the demand. For region one, we entered there in quarter three. Venture hopped in there at the same time that we did. Eventually, we're going to have to determine what would be best to get our load factors up 
to the breakeven point, which was on average around 64%. Region one for quarter 12 had a 54.5% load factor averaged out. And then for region two, we were there the entire time. Venture hopped in there around quarter four, quarter five. They flew pretty much three flights across the board, which did not leave us much opportunity to schedule and to have high load factors. So eventually we're gonna have to put more routes where we are gonna get the best maximization. And our load factor for region two was 51%. For region five, this was our best region because there was no other normal competitors in there. So we were able to fly the three flights across the board and we were able to get our load factor up to almost 56%. For all of the regions, we tried flying F and R and then BF, and those, for the most part, did not have a high enough load factor. And then, so our aircraft utilization, as I said earlier, our aircrafts could fly 2,000 miles daily, and with that, we started at just above 99%. At the end, we were finishing at almost 98%, which means that we were only not using 40 miles per aircraft, which we're happy with because there's always gonna be a delay, there's always gonna be some weather, and there's always gonna be unexpected maintenance at last minute. Um, for the human resources, for quarter 11, we took the average of all of our competitors, and then we added a standard deviation to come up with the 3.05, this is just because we want to compensate our employees to help reduce the employee turnover and then also just to retain employees. Then on top of that, we offer 20% profit sharing to all of the employees, which we started out with 81 employees and then we grew our company to 221. Some of the bumps and dips can be explained by we entered a region or we, we flew a lot of routes for that quarter and we decided it didn't work. So we went elsewhere or decided to change our plan. And then our quality and training budget, we wanted to keep it high because it's cheaper to prevent something versus to fix something. And we started out at a 65 quality rating and we finished with a high eight 88 quality and training budget. And that was just because we had invested a lot of money into that. And then our employee and turnover, we started at 11%. And with us paying above industry standard, we were able to get that down to just under 7%. And then for financing, um, during quarter one, we took out $3.5 million at 9% because we wanted to lock it in at the cheaper financing. And then we also needed it to pay for expenses of entering new regions and then entering new routes. And for entering a new region, it was $250,000 costs and then 10,000 per route. And then also just to cover extra fuel expense and operating expense. And then from quarter five to 12, we had to take out a short-term emergency loans of around $13 million. We decided to do that at the 20% mark because we figured that our stock price was gonna go up and it's gonna be better to spend 20% versus losing out on the opportunity to let our stock grow to get up to having 100% return on the stock. This is the current performance overview of our company, Midwestern Airlines. Uh, as you can see, our stock price is pretty low. Um, that's pretty common with uh, how much we had to borrow and how much debt we had to use to um, fund most of our um, activities. So another number there you see is our reliability. Uh, that's fairly high at 93.9%. That goes with our increased number of employees by scaling our company. 
And we also are focusing on the efficiency and maintenance of our planes that we have on hand. Uh, if we can increase that efficiency and lower that maintenance, obviously it works out a tenfold for us. Our earnings per share is also pretty low just because we're a new company. Uh, we have to be spending money. We need debt. We have to take out a lot of loans. Um, that's pretty common. So our net profit, uh, that's sunk down. It's still a net loss, but it, uh, we're looking to go here in the positive pretty soon. And our quality is about mid-pack, sitting there at 91. Uh, we try and provide our customers with the utmost respect and a nice, high-quality, safe flight. Next slide, please. And then here are our flights here. As you can see, our load factor sits around 51 to 52%, um, pretty average. We'll definitely try and get that up there a little bit. Um, to around like 60, 64%, that'd be great. To get that up there, we're gonna do things like advertising promotions, uh, just get word out there that about our flights and the quality of them and uh, how they work for us. And then last year, you can see some of our ratios. That current ratio is a little bit lower because of the short-term loans that we had to take out. Um, once we get those all paid back and whatnot as we can, uh, that number should shoot up a little bit. Return on sales is also a little bit low. Uh, we're incorporating new salesmen. And like we said, more training, higher training budget. And as you can see, our stock price, like I said, that's pretty low. But uh, our net profit has made a great step in the right way, as well as our quality is sitting about mid-pack there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our the future strategy of Midwest Airlines. And so we're planning on staying in regions one, two, and five for these for uh, the future, as obviously they're our best our regions that we've been in in the past. And with region one, we're going to look at to cut a flight one D because so that has a load factor of forty four percent, which isn't very good. We're going to add a flight to one F, which has a load factor of sixty one point eight percent. But hopefully by doing this, we'll be able to add a. Hopefully we'll add some profit to our bottom line and hopefully serve more customers than what we're currently serving. We're going to keep region two the same because of that, we kind of just started getting into that. And then we think that will have a lot of potential in the future. And then region five, we're going to keep the same, but we're going to look for any opportunities we can get to expand in that region because that's been our bread and butter. We've had a lot of, a lot of success there. As you can see, we have 19 flights there and we'll look to expand to see if we can get any more flights there in the future. And then uh, another strategy we're working on is getting our social performance budget up. We have, in the past, we haven't really dedicated any money towards this. And so we think we're gonna, we're gonna spend $25,000 a quarter on this. And we're gonna look to aid environmental causes because as we know, consumers nowadays are really looking for uh, companies that are very eco-friendly, they're very green and doing the right thing when it comes to the environment. So we're hoping that with this, it will improve our relations with customers and they'll show, it'll show that we really care about the environment and we know that they care that we care. Lastly, we're, gonna, we're looking to improve maintenance and training. So currently our training budget is $67,000. And we're gonna look to bump that up to $75,000. And we're doing that because we believe, in our, we believe in our employees and we believe that if we can spend more money on training them, the better they will be, the happier customers will be and the less turnover rate we will have. And we're looking to, so currently we're at level two maintenance and we're looking to push that to level three, but we're only gonna be able to do that if we're able to get more revenue from our uh, cargo service that we started up about quarter seven, eight in there. So once that starts go, once that start, money starts coming in, we'll be able to uh, improve our maintenance level. So just an overview of the team and what we contributed. Since I'm a finance major, I was the head of the finance department. So I was in charge of the investments at the beginning, choosing the, the, the fleets um, we were into and just um, how the payback period would come with that and just the expenses. I had to work closely with Molly, who is the accountant. I am an accounting major, so I was the cost accounting. As Courtney said, I had to work a lot with her to help reduced expenses, basically determine the inefficiencies or strengths and weaknesses. And then I also worked with pretty much every department to determine 
for human resources, what was the best um, way to grow our company slow and steady so then we did, weren't, weren't having to hire a ton of employees and then also how much to pay them. And as the head of marketing, I had to work a lot with the accounting department. As we had to determine what our budget was, whether we could hire new, new salespeople, whether we had the money to advertise more, whether we had money to run more promotions. So worked a lot with the accounting department about pretty much in all aspects of the marketing. And lastly, I was uh, head of human resources, um, making sure money got allocated to the right places so our team could get the right training uh, to represent the company. And uh, yeah, just be good employees. Thank you. Midwest Airlines and your time to look at representation. Right.